So they tried overloading this dumpster and you can see what happened. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna step up to a heavier gauge tube. I'm gonna put some gussets on the corners here. apart pretty good but you see what I did there I just nipped everything away and now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get them to get the excavator over here and push the whole front of this can back into place and the reason I'm not gonna put the bar in first is because I know there's gonna be plastic deformation I need to push this past the point of being straight in order to get it straight so let's get them to push it now so they're over there putting the excavator back together I was gonna go ahead and cut that piece out but it occurred to me that this can is probably pretty bent up so what I'm gonna do is wait until we push it back into place, pull my measurement from right here, so that way I can make sure everything aligns correctly and I don't have some big gap to weld at each end or at one end or however I align it. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm just gonna come in here, straighten this shit up real quick, get my welding leads ready, and get ready to put this thing back together as soon as these guys push it. So you can see what the welds on these dumpsters look like. This is pretty typical. That's why I don't go crazy and 6010 most of the time is more than enough for this shit. Because almost every one of these welds on these dumpsters is like this super porous. So what you see me doing here is cutting relief cuts so that the dumpster will bend itself back into place. I didn't want to do this. This is going to create more work for me, but you got to do what you got to do. So our measurement after we fucked with it is 85 and 3 eighths. I'm just gonna blow this out with a torch. I'm trying to do this hot and fast. It's just a fucking dumpster. No reason to get all fucking scientific with it.
you have to be aware of where your oxygen acetylene hoses are. Not that I think it'll get burnt through from spatter, but you still want to be careful. That's why you see me throw it up on top of this tube. Okay, so you can see we got a pretty decent fit. That's gonna work just fine. We still have a little gap here. We'll close that up with clamps. But it's looking pretty good. So we still have a slight gap there. So I'm gonna hop in the excavator. We're gonna push it a little bit more. That's a little bit better. We'll use the clamp to draw it in the rest of the way. I did end up using 7018 for all the structural parts of this, um, obviously because it's a stronger rod and I prepped everything out anyway. Um, I did use 6010 as a root in certain areas uh, just because I didn't really clean the paint that well or I couldn't or there was still slag attached. One of the things I've noticed with other welders is they want to bring their engineering degree when they're fixing something stupid like a dumpster. Leave that shit at home and just get it the fuck done, okay? All right, so here's what we've got done so far. Got that all welded out. We've got this lip all welded out. The ends welded out. And up underneath is all welded out. Now, I was asked by the customer to make gusset. So we're going to take this quarter inch plate, split it into a triangle, and lay it on top of each corner, and then weld those in. Okay, so the gussets are on. They look pretty good. I don't even really bother hammering the slag off. The last thing I have to do is seal this up here and then uh, close this up here. This is going to be a fucking cut, um, but I had no choice. I had to open this up if I was going to bend it back. And uh, same thing over here. So we'll go ahead and seal all that up and then we'll be out of here. The way I get the filler rod not to stick is by twisting it. If you'll watch, I slowly twist it here and there. Looks like shit, but we'll grind that down and we'll run some passes of 7018 over all that. But there's nothing I can really do, you know, with an inch gap like that. I could pretty much have to Texas take it. And it's a fucking dumpster.
All right, so here's the final result. Perfectly straight. Everything is completely welded out all the way around. We added these gussets for extra support. I think it looks really good. As that's the end of the video, I hope you enjoyed it. I gave you a little tutorial on how to Texas TIG the right way. Always cap over it with your 7018. If you like what you saw here, like, subscribe, share. If you didn't like it, go fuck yourself. I don't care. But otherwise, have a great day. Keep dragging rod, keep pushing Megan. I'll see you on the next video.